The fentanyl crisis is among talks today at the General Assembly. The drug problem becoming more crucial by the day. That obviously includes here in North Carolina. According to the State Health Department, in 2021, more than 77 percent of overdose deaths were somehow linked back to fentanyl combined with other substances. And North Carolina families of those who are affected by fentanyl are now telling their stories to lawmakers. CBS 17's Brea Hollingsworth is live right now at the General Assembly with the family stories. Now, Bill, Les, over a dozen families shared their stories today. All of them have had a loved one who died by fentanyl. This event put on by the Fentanyl Victims Network of North Carolina. Today, families called on more education about the fentanyl crisis. They also called on more naloxone in schools. That's the drug commonly known as Narcan. I spoke with parents who lost both of their sons due to fentanyl less than a year apart. Our mission has been to break through the barriers of stigma and misinformation to educate folks about the, the dangers of fentanyl and how prevalent it is all across our nation right now. Uh, it only takes a tiny little amount to kill a human being, and it's coming in by the tons every month. And those families actually meeting with uh, lawmakers as we speak. They're asking for about $350,000 from the opioid fund to be distributed to communities across the state. And Raleigh, Brea Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News. Brea, thank you.